Module 7.1 Exporting Data and Preferences Welcome to Module 7.1 of your Profound Professional Training course. In this module we will show you how to export data using the exporter tool and a brief overview of the general preferences in Proform. We have Proform open and you can get to the exporter screen from the features menu at the top by choosing export or from the buttons down the left from the export button. So once the exporter is open you have three columns of fields. The first column includes race data so this is a list of all the fields you can export that relate to the race. The second column is runner data these are all the fields you can export that relate to the runners in the race. And the third column is also runner data, but it's calculated and filtered data, which we will come back to in a second. So for a straightforward export, you could choose the race date and the course. You might want the distance of the race and the class. And then from the runner data, the race card number and the horse's name and the country. And then all you do is on the date selections, you choose where you want to start and end from. So we'll just choose yesterday's date, Sunday the 17th, and we'll click on the export button. You then choose a folder and a file name you want it to output to, and it will output to a CSV file, which is a comma delimited file. And you just click on save, and your wait cursor will show up until the export is done. And a message pops up at the end telling you it's exported and where it's been saved. And if we go to this folder we can see we have a file in this folder with that name. And we'll open this with OpenOffice. OpenOffice allows you to import it into an Excel style format and it's a comma separated file so we just choose comma click OK and this has imported the data we've output so we output the course, the distance, the class, the race card number, horse and horse country from the results for yesterday. So we close this and go back to the export screen. So you can choose any of the fields and they're fairly self-explanatory of what the what's contained within them and there's quite a lot more further down the screen and this column is filtered fields so where this works is you can export data based on any filters you've currently got set so these top fields here are the dynamic speed figures and DYHA is the dynamic highest achieved speed figure for each horse. I currently don't have any quick or main filter set, but I have a global filter set to the 1st of the 1st, 2008. So this would only return the highest speed figure for each horse back to that date. Now if you were exporting declarations for today, and we'll just export the race card number and the horse and the date time and the course and the and the dynamic highest achieved field we've set it to today's date so it's just going to do declarations and we just want to look at the all weather runners so we can filter the output to the race types if we click export at this point It will now export date, time, course, race card number, horse name, and the highest achieved figure in all races going back to the first of the first 2008. If we go back to the folder and open the file, you can see the figures running down the side. Let's say instead of the highest achieved figure in the last five years for all race types, you just wanted to look at highest achieve on the all weather. Then you can use the main filter button to set the race type 
to just our weather. Click OK. The filter is applied. Click on export again. And we'll just call it file A. Export the data. So we're now going to export the same data, but the DYHA figure will only be for all weather runs. If we go back to the folder and open the second file, and then to compare, we'll open the first file as well. You can see on the first file, this top horse has an overall ice speed figure in all races of 68, whereas when we exported it for just all weather runs, it's 61. So you can control these calculated fields by the filters that you set in the main filter button. point to note, which is why you get this warning when you click on the export and you're using filtered fields is, depending on how much data you're exporting and which filter fields you've used, it can be quite slow to do so. If you're going to export large chunks of the database, we suggest you do it in six months blocks. So you'd set the date back six months and choose, say, 1st of August to the end of February 2013. You can also filter the export by the courses that you want to output and you can skip the Irish and Northern Irish courses and of course like we did on this export you could just output one race type so by ticking all weather we only outputted the all weather races that are running today. So we'll move on to the preferences now which you can select from the options menu at the top or from the preferences button down the side. So when you first open the preferences you'll be on the general screen and this is where you can set the global date filter for restricting form in the database. We've uh, gone through this in a previous video. We've also gone through the X amount of time features which is tied into the in running module in a previous one. And we've also gone through the yesterday's today's runners quick mode in the previous video. Basically the preference screens allows you to change a few of the default settings. So you can set your Betfair commission rate. You can make it so jockeys and trainers are sorted and displayed surname first. That's what you wish. You can affect how the grids work. So you can add in context sensitive double click. So instead of when you double click and it pulls up whether you want to select an horse or a jockey or a race. If you have this ticked it will just automatically work out from what you've double clicked and jump into a horse or a race. You can turn on and off the highlighting of the top rated in green and red. You can affect how uh, highlighting set selected rows or how the mouse wheel works. You can turn on and off the calendar icons. And on the how the race was run, you can set various options for right and left clicking. Again, we've gone through this one already in a previous video. You can affect how the race detail grids work and the fairly self-explanatory what each option does. This bit at the bottom is where it highlights winners or places in different colours. You don't have to have that on if you don't want. The dynamic of speed figures can be affected by the number of runs that they've had. So for instance the dynamic average speed figure currently uses three runs. You could change that to six or seven or whatever you wanted it to be. There's more options for the horse form grid and whether you want to highlight the colours. You can set the default stake for the bet manager. This is an old option for um, very old Windows XP versions. It's probably not something you're going to need. The printing is fairly basic in ProForm. It's done by right clicking on grids. Um, but you can set some of the printing options here. 
and you can also set some of the exporter options of where it puts quotes around fields or automatically opens a file after exporting and this is the same from the ad hoc exports which are the right clicks on the grid headings and then this is the colour coding for the in running prices um, which we'll come back to in a future video well that's it for module 7.1 training session for the more advanced users exporting data can be a very useful feature